Today I'm doing a upgrade of my home lab. And once the VCSA appliance is upgraded, you can go ahead and putty in and do an ESX CLI command to get your 6.7 updated to 6.7 update 1. It came out two days ago, October 16th. So referring to my own article, I'm going to leap over here. And I get into all the details about how you can back up and image the USB media, for instance, that I might be on. Let's assume all that's been done. Like I said, you want to do VCSA appliance first and image your ESXi hypervisor also. Once you get past all that, you're ready for the part of the article, the kind of meat and potatoes. Read the release notes, go through all the prerequisites that I just talked about, and turn on maintenance mode. I don't have any VMs running on the machine I'm about to work on. Um, look at all the profiles, which I've already done. I constructed the syntax for you. Now we're up to step five, the firewall rule. So double click, and I'm trying to open up the session. So this is the host, an 8 core I'm going to update. Make the screen nice and wide so you can follow along nicely here. Okay, firewall port opened, and now I'm not going to use the dry run command necessarily. Uh, I don't need that in this case. Does this is a test box with no VMs running on it right now. So instead of appending the dry run syntax on there, I'm just going to swipe my mouse across here. I could triple click actually, which put the whole thing on my clipboard, including the trailing paired return. As soon as I right click here, it's going to run. And there it goes. It's downloading from the repository and then applying the code and performing the update. Now, if we have a look here at ESXi host line, can log right into this individual host and give you a look around before the upgrade uh, completes. So you will soon see that it's at 6.7. Apologies for the microphone. Again, I'm not in my normal recording location. I'm over 4,000 miles away from it. All right. So yes, I'm on 6.7. And I have patched it. But still, this is not the latest update one build. All right. So this command, once it finishes, it's going to have a whole bunch of stuff echoed on the screen. Uh, it's also going to prompt me to reboot. So let's get ready for the firewall. Put the firewall back where it was before we started here. Get ready for that reboot step. Okay, so 6 was dry run, 7 was actual run, which we just did, and then firewall disallow. Skipping step 9, and then finally reboot. And that'll conclude this. Now if you have maintenance mode turned on, if you have a bunch of VMs in there or whatever, great, deal with that. But in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and reboot, and I should be good to go. Alright, so it finished as expected. I click firewall command and then reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this in the clipboard for later reference. In case something interesting happens or I want to look up vibs or whatever. Let's see what happened. Alright, got it. So back here, I'm ready, I'm rebooting. So the machine will come up and I'll have the new code on there. I'm gonna go ahead and resume recording video once the reboot is done. We of course die, that's expected because the host is rebooting. Um, again, some complications here because I'm remote, making things a little sluggish. Uh, I could actually just fire up the web GUI here for 
IPMI so that you can actually see the host in the middle of a reboot. And you'll actually see vibs loading and all the usual stuff you see on the uh, kind of yellow local user interface for ESXi. No Java needed here for IPMI for Supermicro, and no Java needed for vSphere 6.7 update 1 admin. No vSphere web client needed at all. Just everything HTML5 from here forward, which is awesome. One of the big uh, allures of 6.7 update 1. All right, so the machine's coming back up. Soon I'll have my hypervisor running. There it is. The build number. So you can go ahead and do a quick search on that. And again, the sluggishness is driving me a little bonkers here. There we go. notes. So we have the correct version. Uh, that's all good. And uh, my own article um, references that. So the section where we look, or the, we just did the command from, actually has that in there. Alright, so the server is almost done rebooting. I'm just going to keep going with this video. Um, I have only moments to uh, get to a conference I'm attending anyway. <laughs> I just skipped an amazing breakfast to uh, quickly record this video before our day begins. So now, uh, once this comes up, all I'm going to do is just re-log into the DCUI interface. And I'll wrap up the video at that point, showing you that uh, the update was successful. Just a few more seconds for it to be responsive to login. And I'm going to go ahead and close the old window, which is dormant and broken, because the host obviously rebooted. At this point, you also want to make sure everything is working fine, you're networking and all that, of course. But yeah, my host came up, it's got the same IP address, and looks like it's responding to my request to log in. Which concludes this video. Ta da, there it is. The new profile applied. We are at 6.7 update 1. So, hopefully, you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting. Tinker Try. IT at home.